What up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your guy. Some 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 hit the keys here today to bring you guys a quick review and demonstration over capsule by sound slate. Um, it's basically a sound library in the cloud. So it's got a ton of different sounds. Um, it's got some nice little effects on each sound that's customized to each sound, but we'll get more into it as we go. Uh, make sure if you guys like this content, you drop a whole elbow on that like button, hit subscribe and that notification bell. So every time we bring you guys a new video, you can be the first to find out, but let's go ahead and get right into capsule. Boosh. Some, some, some hit the key. All right, guys, so I brought you to the website first. Uh, when you come to the website, basically with Capsule, it is a subscription based VST plugin. Um, so it is either $9.99 a month, or you can download each library for $19.99 each. Um, it's pretty dope. You know, um, it's got its own little portal. Uh, that might be my one little beef if I did have one, but we'll get over that more as we go. Uh, sorry about the crazy uh, lighting here. Uh, kind of got a new lens and I don't know anything about it yet. So it's kind of uh, all over the place with the way everything is set up. Um, but basically, um, it does have a portal in which you can listen to all the sounds. Um, and it also has a pretty intuitive website to where you can also use the website to listen to the sounds as well. Um, so basically, this is what the capsule um, portal is going to look like. I can't show you because for whatever reason, it doesn't want to come up for me right now. So that's my one big beef with this plugin right now is that the capsule uh, portal doesn't work for me. But I can still download sounds and I can still get what I need. So that's pretty dope. Um, if you are having that issue though, what you can do is you can simply come over here and you can listen to all the libraries. So I think that's dope about the website is that um, each one of these little uh, boxes has all the sounds in that library in it. So like, let's say I hit play on this black ivory, which is a piano one. So as you can hear, it's got some really nice sounding pianos. I mean, it's got all kinds of different uh, libraries, you know, for grit. Uh, so I'll play something here. So, I mean, it's got some nice sounding stuff and all the sounds are really rich and uh, they sound real nice. You know, it's got Neon, Exodus, Grapevine. I really like this Grapevine. Uh So again, it's got some really nice sounds. We're not gonna go through all those right now, but let's go ahead and get into the plugin. When you do open up the plugin, it's going to look like this. Um, so basically, um, you know, it looks pretty basic here, but with one thing that's nice about it is it changes for each sound. And you see how it's got all these macros down here. 
Um, with the macros, which is pretty cool, is that they are each assigned different effects to each different sound. Like they really did take some time and effort into um, basically cultivating the right effects for the right sounds, if that makes sense. Um, down here, you do have uh, your ADSR, you have response, you have your velocity after touch. So you have all the stuff that you can mess with, your voicing, um, poly, mono, legato. Obviously, you got a glide that works. Um, velocity over here. Um, and then, you know, you can bring up your keyboard. So, you know, you can down here. Oh, you guys know that sound. It sounds like Omnisphere. Um, but rest of sounds uh, sound like their own sounds, though. But that sound right there, it gives me gives me nightmares. Um, so we'll go ahead and get back to this page. Um, like always, I made a little beat. So I'm going to go ahead and play the beat. Um, all the, the piano, the bass, uh, even the little percussion in the background all came from Capsule. The only thing that didn't come from Capsule was the kicks, the hi-hats, and the little uh, open hat. So let's go ahead. Let's go. So all those sounds came from Capsule. There's no effects, no third-party effects or VSTs or plugins on any of that stuff. Um, so, you know, again, it's pretty pretty high-quality sounding stuff in my personal opinion. Um, I like the way most of the stuff sounds. But now let's go ahead and get into the actual plugin. So when you look at the plugin, it's going to start off like this. Um, if you hit this Browse button right here, it's going to bring up everything you can browse. And so, you know, you're going to scroll through the different libraries like this. Um, in order to scroll through the libraries, you will have to use a scroll mouse. Um, for whatever reason, if you're not using a scroll mouse, the little menu goes away and you can't uh, just scroll down on like your laptop um, little, little thumb pad. Um, the same with over here, it will just disappear. But what's cool too is that you can um, break stuff down when you're looking for it. So you can search for stuff. Um, by you know obviously bass bells brass keys lead you know you can read everything on the screen or you can search by mood which is pretty dope too so you can go from you know lo-fi as uh, what i had it on it's kind of like a lo-fi ish beat there um i didn't put any of you know like the i didn't lo-fi it all the way out obviously because i wanted you guys to hear the sounds but you can see it's got all kinds of different stuff or you can just click on the library um so now i kind of have it set up to where it's only as the stuff that i downloaded there's a whole bunch of more stuff uh, but for the time of this demonstration, I'm just going to play some of the sounds and I'm just going to play some of the noises so that you can hear them. Uh, you know, I'm just going to play a couple from each bank. Um, so we're going to go ahead and tap into this uh, Voyager Lo-Fi. I'm going to let this play all the way through. So the first time when you open up a session and you load up a sound, it may take a moment uh, for it to pull that sound up. Um, because, you know, it is what it is. The file is 465 megabytes for this piano. Um, so that's something else that you have to think about. Do you have the space on your computer for this plugin? But if you have the space, again, I would definitely um, say check it out. There is a 30 day free trial. Um, and you know, with 30 day free trial, you can really decide if this is something that you wanted to get into or something that you didn't want to. Um, so I'm just going to play this lo-fi uh, keys on this piano so you guys can hear what it sounds like. Aha, let me go ahead and change the PAT. So that sounds pretty good. Now when you go back and you look at the, the actual um, sound, you'll see it has these different effects on there. So it has the sounds that are, or the effects that are um, important to the sound of this piano for say. So not all the different sounds are gonna have brightness, hall mic, warble, you know, tape hiss, all that other stuff. So you can mess with all the stuff and get a different sound, so.
so that's pretty nice. I'll go through some more of the presets, um, you know, just so that you guys can hear some more. Um, I'll go through a couple of what I have downloaded from each bank. Another thing that's nice too is when you're going through some of the sounds and you're listening to them and I'm checking them out, you can heart them without downloading them um, so that you can go back to them at a later time and you can um, download them if you want to. Um, so we're going to go ahead and pull up this cassette next. Um, let's go. So again, it's a nice lo-fi sounding uh, piano. I mean, if you notice, that one didn't take any time to load up at all. So it just depends, again, on how often that you've used stuff and how often that you're pulling it up. Um, here is the actual bass that I used um, from the, the beat, and it just sounds like this. So if you're just looking for a basic analog bass, they got you there as well. Um, they got some nice sounds like this Ninth Alien. It sounds pretty nice. Um, it's taking just a moment to load up. I don't think I pulled this on up in a minute. So that sounds kind of eerie. Um, you know, you got a dirty, uh, dirty whirly. Go ahead and pull that up. So, you know, that sounds all right. Uh, let's see, we got a marimba over here. So it sounds all right. Uh, this belly button, I believe this was the mallet that I used in this actual beat. So um, again, this sounds pretty nice as well. So that sounds all right. Um, we'll pull up some winds. I mean, they got all kinds of different stuff. You got strings, you got winds, you got sequence, you got leads, you just got all kinds of stuff. So with this. Um, you have, you know, you can just keep scrolling and keep scrolling. You got uh, this, these strings. Um, I think I use these strings in the beat as well. <clears throat> and then you also have this 80s New Soul Split. It sounds pretty nice as well. So that sounds all right. Um, you know, you have just a whole bunch of stuff. You got these trailer drums. Um, so this is the, like the drums that I use and stuff in the actual beat. So um, it's like a whole drum kit, but it doesn't have no hi-hats, um, kind of, eh, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, so I used like the, some of the noises as Foley and stuff in the beat, um, but it didn't have any hi-hats for me, but it does have all these sounds. So it does have a lot of percussion in it. You know, it's got a lot of, I can't stress enough, it's got a lot of nice little sounds. I'll play this pipe flute for you guys. Um, you know, I can't stress enough. It's got a bunch of pretty, pretty dope stuff that you can use um, in whatever kind of beat it is that you're making. Obviously, as you heard through some of the demonstration um, from the, the website, you know, you can make all kinds of stuff from trap beats to whatever it is that you're looking to make, so. So, you know what I'm saying? Um, I can't stress enough. These are just some random sounds that I picked. I didn't just pick the best noises. Um, there's a lot more fire noises. I just grabbed some to make the demonstration go as quick as possible. Um, so, uh, basically, um, 
you know, would I check this out? I definitely would swoop this up on the 30 day free trial if I were you and see if it's something that you guys could use. Um, and then even if you didn't want to get the subscription and you did find a library that you like, you know, 19 bucks for a library, you can get yourself 20, 30, 40. Some libraries have 60 sounds. Um, it's definitely worth checking out. Uh, make sure if you guys like this content though, drop a whole elbow on that like button, hit subscribe and that notification bell. So every time I bring you guys a new video, you can be the first to see. Appreciate you guys' time as always, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. All right, guys and gals, thanks for watching the video. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe and like button. Uh, make sure you hit that notification bell so every time a new video comes out, you can be the first to know. Uh, let me know what tutorials you want to see next in the comments, and see you next time. Some, some, some hit the key.